recording and let's set our intention for a new president oh, intentionally yes, like set <laughs> but i think it's birthday wish to come true yeah <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and stand in the back of the map, friends. Taking a little sip of my cafe. Okay. Let's just, in our intention, let's really press the ground away and go long and tall. Rolling the shoulders down. Take a breath here, feeling your spine grow up a little bit longer and taller. Feel how before any movement even happens, where is our weight set, feeling like it's going? Is it shifting side to side? Are you feeling really grounded here? And then ground down a little more through your feet. Lift up through your pelvic floor. Feel how your abs start to activate. How your ribs can soften into your body. How you can widen through the collarbone. Reach your fingertips to the floor. And reach the crown of the head to the sky. Sitting with amazing posture. Take a big inhale up. The one thing here, and exhale it out, is women have this crazy amazing posture. One more time, big inhale up. They carry tap some rice on their head, exhale, with a baby strapped on their back, and then roll over to your toes, and pedal the knees out. Like, they'll carry anything. I see people carrying a sewing machine on their head, walking around like no big deal, and then let's walk our hands all the way up to plank position. Are you and photographing that? What's that? Are you photographing them, carrying all kinds of uh, as, not really. Unless I, I have to know somebody before I can just take their picture. Slide the shoulder away, draw the abs up and in, lengthen through the heels of the crown of the head, and feel your belly energize up into your spine. Feel how you can start to even activate up out of your pelvic floor. Take an inhale on your exhale, take it to downward dog. And then cuddle the knees up here. You guys should know it actually is getting a little bit cooler here because I have a t-shirt on today and not a tank top. <laughs> and then pressing the heels back, rounding your spine forward back into your plank. Nice long neck draw the abs in and then rolling back up into your downward dog. Just flowing through that two more times with your breath, finding some opening through the vertebrae, getting a little movement. And then we're gonna meet back in the downward dog holding there for a moment. Bend the knees, lift the sits bones a little bit higher and then lengthen through the back of the legs. You're gonna tap your right hand to your left toes or your ankle wherever you shake in your downward dog and then left hand to right. And we're gonna take that four more times. You're gonna take a tap. Staying in the downward dog and you just reach across and reach across. Two more each way. Lift the sits bones high, one more. And we're going to take it back into our plank. Float the right leg up, point the toes, and a little tiny pulse up. Slide the shoulder blades away from the ears, activating the glute, and lower that leg back down, left leg up, pulse it up. Wrap the ribs up and into the body, and lower that leg down, coming onto your left forearm and onto your right forearm, staying right there. Slide the shoulder blades away from your ears. You're going to swivel your hips slightly to the right, bringing it back to center. And over to the left. I know, Stan, this is your favorite one, the toe pressure. But keep the toes in place. Only your pelvis is twisting. So you don't go that far. You just want your hips to swivel slightly over to the side, back to center, slightly over to the side. Let's do two more each way. Keeping the shoulders over the elbows. One more. You'll bring the knees down to the mat, press back to the child's pose. Taking a breath there. Your tips will lengthen forward, bring your booty back to your heels. And rolling yourself up onto your hands and knees. Rounding your spine into your cat stretch. And head up, tail up for your cow. And one more time into your cat. And into your cow. And into neutral, letting your abs relax. And then find your abs drawing up into your spine, extending right arm and left leg. Lengthen through the fingertips, lengthen, lengthen through the toes, relax the right toes, and bring everything back to center. Minimal movement in your pelvis, keeping the pelvis in neutral as you extend the other side. Left arm, right leg. And bringing it back to center. 
you're sending your arm and leg up. Let's come up. So, like, with your breath, you just take it out to that moment where you're going to get a little full. You find the activation and then you bring it back to center. Drawing the abs up and in. Let's do one more each way and then we'll meet back with the right arm left leg after this next one. And lengthen and hold, rounding the spine to bring the knee and the elbow to touch and extend and the elbow touch and extend in. Extend, two, and last one, hold, tiny little pulse of the arm and leg up, pulse up, up, firming up the glute, slide the shoulders away from the ears, and then bringing the hand and the knee right back down to the mat, moving to the other side, left arm, right leg, find your length, and then round your spine, from the knee and elbow to touch, and right back to that. Inhale and exhale, contracting the abs, and then find your length right back into your neutral. Two more. And last one. Extend and hold and small pulse up. Push the back of the skull to the sky. Three, two, last one. Bring the hand and the knee right back down, rounding your spine into your cat and into your cow. And then coming on to sit on your booty, grabbing your band. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm drinking my coffee while I, I needed it after I had to get up early to go work today and then I see the little extra, a little extra burst for you guys. So with the band around the outside of the wrist or your ring, whatever you got, or you can just pull it if it's not, if you can't tie it in a loop. So just to find some activation in your back to help get all the muscles working, to get that posture long and tall, draw the abs in, slide the shoulder blades away from the ears. And roll all the way down to the mat. So you're either pulling or pressing. Inhale, taking the arms all the way back for a moment, keeping the tension in the whatever you have, so the shoulders up, and then reaching the hands right back up over the shoulders. Draw the abs in, tuck the pelvis, tiny tuck of the chin, and peel yourself all the way up. Rounding, 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 rounding. So getting a lot of just flow and motion through the spine, and then all the way back down to the mat. And then we'll be holding. So just getting some movement going in. So you can lengthen the arms back, take the arms up to the sky, reach up. And we'll all the way up, 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 up. Diving forward. Scoop and roll all the way down. The next one, we're gonna stay at the top and then roll back halfway. Inhale, lengthen, bring the hands back up over the head. Reach all the way up and over, diving, reaching, 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 and then roll back halfway. Side the shoulders down, draw the abs in, tucking the pelvis underneath you. Stay roll back to a point where it feels all right for your body. And then either a press out or a squeeze in, whatever you've got, just to find some activation in the left. So you're either going to press out into the band or you're going to squeeze into the ring. Move from the lats, not from the shoulder joint. Friends, I got finally confirmation that my job that I originally came for is starting in December. So it's happening, hold, bringing the arms above the head, keeping tension, slide the shoulders with me ears, you're still rolled back halfway, and bringing it back forward. And lengthen the arms up. We've got three more after this one. Draw the abs in, which means I'm gonna be in Rwanda for like three and a half weeks in December. So we're gonna figure out what's gonna happen for class because I'm gonna be shooting I think at least three games a day in the bubble. Hold this one above your head. Slide the shoulder blades down and little press out. I don't even know if I know how to shoot basketball anymore. <laughs> it's been so long. For five, four, three, two, last one. Dive up and over to your toes and take the stretch here. Hooking whatever you got around your feet, giving yourself a forward fold. And then hook the band onto your right foot. Let's get our stretch in. You're gonna roll all the way down, take the leg up to the sky, and ease into the hamstring. Just letting it be wherever it wants to be to start, just to get it ready. And then think about pushing your right sits bone to the front. And then maybe the leg comes back a little bit further, and maybe you start to add some bending and straightening of the leg. And 
And then hold and bring it back a little bit further. And a little bit further. And one more breath there. And we'll release that. Let's cook it onto the toes here. Calf stretch. Pulling the toes down, pushing the heel up. And you can point and flex. And point and flex. One more. You're holding the toes down. And bringing it back to the center of the foot. Externally rotating the leg, letting it fall out to the side for your inner thigh stretch. Pushing your left hip down into the mat. Let your shoulders relax. One more breath there, finding a little more length in the inner thigh. And we'll extend that leg back up to straight. And gently across the body, stretch to the side of the hip, pushing the right hip away from you. If it feels good, you hold on with your left hand to the band or the rope or towel, whatever you have at home. And then pushing the left, or pushing the right hip away from you with your right thumb in the crease, just give it a little extra push. Take one more breath there. And then into the spinal twist. Letting the leg gently come across the body, looking out towards your right fingertips. And we'll extend the right leg out straight onto the mat, holding onto your band to peel yourself up and over. Catching on to the other foot and rolling all the way up. Mm. And take a little stretch there. So we'll just start to wake up the hamstring. Allow the left sit bone to push a little bit to the front, and then maybe you start to add a little bend and straighten in the knee. And maybe you bring it back a little bit further, but not going further than it feels like it is meant to go this morning. So listening to your body. And we'll release the hamstring stretch on your next breath. Bringing the band onto the toes. Pulling the toes down towards the face and the heel up to the sky. So make sure it's no longer in the hamstring stretch. And then you can point and flex. You can do a little stretch there. Releasing that, bringing it to the center of the foot. For your inner thigh stretch, letting it fall out to the side. Pushing your right hip down. Breathing into the inner thigh. Let's take two more big inhales and exhales here, letting go of any tension. Keeping the right hip pressing down. And we'll scoop that leg back up to the sky. Pushing the left hip away. Pressing the booty cheek down to the mat as the leg comes any amount across the body where the pelvis can stay in neutral. Shoulders relax. Let's take one more breath there. And then on your exhale, release into your spinal twist, putting the band to the side, moving in the opposite direction. Lengthening that leg long on the mat, shaking everything out, bending the knees to get yourself set up in your neutral spine. Pelvis is heavy into the mat. Hip bones are in line with your pubic bone. You have your belly button sinking into your low back, which is into that 
little bit of curve you have in your spine. Make sure your back, bottom, nerves are anchoring down. Even though I've been doing this for a long time, I still like to take the back, bottom, ribs and kind of pull them away. Because for my body, I need to create a little more space because I like to have a curve in my back. So I need to be really aware of that. So check in with your spine. Let the ribs soften into the body, knitting towards each other and sinking down. And the shoulders relaxing, the neck long, the jaw soft, no tension in the neck. Send the arms up to the sky, right up over the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, lift the head, neck, and shoulders for your first forward fold, reaching the fingertips towards the heels without losing your neutral spine, and lower back down. Inhale, exhale, small lift from your upper abs, so never feeling like you're lifting from your neck or your jaw. You wanna feel that rib cage coming towards each other, but keep the space between the bottom rib and the hip. So you want to keep all the length in your torso as you float the head, neck, and shoulders up. Hold this one on the lift. Lengthen the fingertips a little forward from your armpits, but not necessarily from your lifting up higher, just really reach your fingertips forward to make your arms longer, and then lengthen your arms up to the sky and back alongside your ears, biceps by your ears, and then press your arms back forward. Inhale. Feel how your abs are stabilizing you here, lifting up out of your pelvic floor to help stabilize in your low abs. Hold the arms back alongside the ears and then small lift, lift. So tiny little crunch from your upper abs for five, three, last one, lower the head, release the arms by the sides, bring the right leg in, into table, left leg up to meet it, knees over the hips, ankles and line the knees. And just before we even move, soften through your shoulders. What's going on in your collarbone right now? You want to let any tension there relax. Now start to activate about your pelvic floor and draw your low abs in a little bit deeper. So there's already so much activation and we haven't even added any movement here. Extend the right leg straight out and then rotate, draw it right back in. Extend the left leg out and draw it right back in. So you just extend the leg out long and then drag it in. Can you move the leg without letting your pelvis move at all? Without adding any tension into your upper body? Extend it in. Shoulders are relaxed. Use your breath. Each exhale is going to sink your abs in a little bit deeper. We're going to turn this into a march. Keep the tabletop, keep the toes pointed, march the right toes forward, and float it right back up and left. I know for my body, if I'm not paying attention, when my leg goes down, my shoulders get tense and I start to arch my spine. I want to lose my lumbar curve. So it so, has to be so focused for me. Maybe it's easy for you guys, but just check in what's happening in your body. Is your pelvis staying still? Are you keeping an equal amount of space between your bottom rib and your hip on both sides, flex your feet, lead with your heel, and zip the heel forward and left. Maybe you bring your hand to your belly to feel, are you drawing your abs down or are you pushing your abs up? You can feel the difference. Are, is the transverse abdominis doing the work or is the rectus abdominis pushing you, hooking your abs up? One more like this each way. And bring the knees in, give them a little hug. Walk your back into the mat, let go of any tension, and we'll bring the legs right back up to tabletop from a neutral pelvis. So you always can bring your feet down to regroup if you need to. If not, you bring them back up if you're already in your great neutral position. Hands to the sky, press the back of the skull slightly into the mat, and then extend your right arm and your left leg at the same time, and bring it to center. Left arm, right leg. So just moving opposite arm, opposite leg and bringing awareness that you're getting energy in through your back as well. Not into your low back where you're doing all the work, but your front and back are working together to stabilize. Sinking the abs down and, and if you want, you can lift your head, neck and shoulders. You stay wherever it feels best for you. Maybe you advance it, bring the leg closer towards the ground. Maybe you're not quite awake in the transfer of dominance yet, so you keep the leg going closer to the sky. Let's do two more each way. Wherever your body is feeling like it's getting the most results. 
and return everything to center and hug it in and relax with the head rock side to side. Bring the legs to the table. Hands up. Inhale, exhale. Press your hands towards your hips to push your legs at your high diagonal to prep for the hundreds. Draw the knees in, head down. Inhale, exhale. And drag back in. Two more like that. One more like that. And then the one after is going to be the hundreds. This one we hold up. Inhale, exhale, lengthen, hold, and the hundreds. Inhale, two, three, four, five, and exhale, two, three, four, five. So the legs can be in parallel. They can also be in turnout. You could have them lower towards the ground. You could have them higher to the sky. You can have them in tabletop. Wherever you're feeling strongest and able to get the abs best activated. Inhale, and exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, and exhale. Maybe you take legs a little bit lower. Maybe you have a little bit of a challenge, but if you feel that it goes into your low back, then make sure they stay where it's best. Inhale and exhale. Two more sets. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Hold it there. Then draw the legs up. Hug the knees in and relax. Head can draw circles on the ceiling. And reverse. We'll bring the legs back into tabletop. Firming the arms down into the mat. Lengthen your legs straight up to the sky. Firm your pelvis down. We're going to cross the right ankle over the left, left over the right, right over the left. Legs go as wide as the mat. Stay with them back in with the left on top. We go right, left, open. So the opposite leg always starts on top. It's a quick, 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 open. Quick, 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 open. Not just from the ankles. Think the inner thighs moving one over the other. Long, strong legs. Your abs are working to keep your legs extended long and to stabilize your pelvis. Are you relaxing your shoulders? Maybe you need to turn your palms to the sky if you feel like your shoulders are not quite settling down. Or maybe that doesn't feel good. You need to firm your arms down more. Whatever's happening for you, you do that. Let's do one more each way. Open the legs, hold it here. Hands together, up over your chest, inhale, exhale. Lift up, reach your hands in between the legs, keep the legs long, and lower back down. Inhale, exhale, curl up, reach your hands between the legs. The legs are just staying there. Small V, as wide as the mat. It's not a huge V, it's just as wide as the mat. Three more. Inhale, two. Last one, lift and hold it. And little reaches for reach, reach. Last week I was teaching my class here outside a bug flew in my ear. <laughs> I was so scared, friends. Three, two, last one, all the way down, hug the knees all the way in. I was I had this whole vision that the bug was going to live there, have babies in my head, but it flew right back out. But the seconds that it was in my ear was a full situation. Let's bring the feet down to the mat, hands up to the sky, walk the feet a little bit forward so they're not all the way towards your booty. Inhale on your exhale, peel your head, neck, and shoulders up, and then roll yourself up onto your sit bones. Has anyone ever had a bug in their ear? It's not cute. Slide the shoulder blades down, and then swoop and roll halfway back. Draw the abs in, and then bring your right arm above your head, and bring it back to center. Left arm above your head, and back to center. Bring your right foot up an inch, and bring your left foot up an inch. So we're gonna go right arm, Left arm, right leg, and left leg. So every limb is getting a chance to be in the action. And we're really focusing on stabilizing through your center. As the leg comes up, it's almost like the knee has a puppet string on it to pull it up. As the arm goes up, you slide the shoulder away from your ear. Using your breath, go at your own pace. We're going to do two more rounds of it. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I don't like it. My abs are hurting. One more each way. I don't like it in a good way. And last one, hold and come all the way up to sit. Let's bring the fingertips onto the mat directly behind your bum. So fingertips facing, roll the shoulders open. Dig your heels down. The feet can be anywhere between close to your bum and all the way out into a reverse plank position. 
So your decision where you want your legs to be, we're gonna do a little tricep action. Roll the shoulders open, nice long neck, tuck your pelvis slightly, and then lift the hips up off the mat. Shift your weight slightly backwards. Bend your elbows halfway. Straighten your elbows. Bend your elbows and straighten. Bend and extend. This is a moment where if this doesn't feel so great for your wrist, you could also just do overhead triceps with your weights. So you could just have your arms above your head and bending your elbows backwards if you don't like this for your wrists. For three, because we're going to hold the, after we do three, we're going to go back down and hold it halfway. We're going to hold here. Go down one tiny inch, up a tiny inch. Go tiny down, tiny up. Micro, micro. Pull your elbows towards each other. Micro, micro. Five, four, three, two, last one. Straighten your arms all the way up. Bring your booty down. And take a little stretch across. That one made me kind of hot, guys. How's everybody feeling? We're good? Good. I miss having you guys up all right in my in shared space together and bring it all across. Oh, the other arm across. And release that. We're going to come into the abdominal series. So let's set up for that. Uh, actually, let's start with going like a ball and then we go right into the abdominal series. Glue the heels together. Feet are slightly apart. We're half a pizza slice. Fingertip touch to your ankles. Shift back through your sits bones and lift your heels up and pull your heels a little closer to your body. You have some space between your elbows and your legs. Memorize the shape because as you move, you're not changing the shape. Tuck your pelvis. Roll to your shoulder blades. Come right back up and balance right there. Did your shape stay the same? Roll to your shoulder blades and balance on the sit bones. Three more like that, and we move right into a single leg stretch. Two. And one more, come all the way up to balance. Pull the gear, legs to table. And then extend the left leg long, roll yourself down, framing your right knee with both hands. Switch legs, we go switch. And switch, if you need to regroup into your neutral, please do that if you feel like when we came down, we weren't in it. Lengthen. Watch the leg as it extends. Is it trapping straight out from your hip socket? Is the knee turning in or out? Or is the leg staying nice and smooth and straight? Let's do three. Breathe. Two, make sure the leg is stopping right at the hip. Last one each way. Return to center. Roll down. Let the head relax. Shake the head side to side. And legs to the table. Hands to the sky. Lift the head, neck, your shoulders, reaching your hands just past your knees for a double leg stretch. Inhale, the arms and legs lengthen. And then circle the arms around, draw the legs together, back in. Inhale, the arms and legs move away. Exhale, circle, bring it to center. As your arms lengthen, use the support from your upper abs to keep your upper body still. Use your low abs to help sink deeper to extend those legs long and stabilize the pelvis. For four, lengthen. Legs are super glued together. Two, make the legs a little bit closer towards the ground. What's best for you? Last one. And bring it all the way in. Relax it down. Shoulders relax. Taking any movement to let go of any tension. And then you bring the legs to tabletop. Hands to the sky. Extend the legs to the sky. Both the head, neck, and shoulders up. Extend the left leg long. Fingertip touch behind the right thigh. Little double pull. Then inhale. Exhale. Pull, pull. Inhale. Exhale. So you exhale the switch, double a little inhale when the leg is up. Maybe you reach up towards your ankle. Maybe you take the hands and reach them forward. The abs are doing the job to do the leg a double pulse in. The legs brush past each other at about 45 degrees. Switch and switch. Keep the right leg up, left leg long. Right leg only pulses to the body, pulse in, in. In. You also have the option to bring the fingertip touch behind the ears. Hold the legs up. Left leg does a tiny circle. Turn it around. Micro circle enough to challenge stability, but not when we can move or reverse it. And then scissor the legs up. Left leg long pulses in. In. Keep reaching that left sits bone to the front, even as the leg is up. Hold. Right leg tiny stir. 
tiny stir, just enough to challenge stability without anything reverse. Give you a little inner thigh activation as well, and then bring both legs up, hug in there, relax. Head rock side to side. Sakina, I feel like in class that you would have given me a sound effect right there, so moments that I'm missing. Fingertip <laughs> finger touch behind the ears. Uh, extend the legs long to the sky. Glue the heels, turn the toes apart just slightly, or keep your legs in parallel. If you're always doing parallel, do turnout. If you're always doing turnout, do parallel. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. We want to have work our muscles in multiple ways. Now keep the pelvis heavy as you lengthen your legs out to your point of control, and then drag the legs up. And maybe that's a small start to lengthen out, and then lift. Maybe you take your one hand and put it on your low abs, and feel your belly pulling away from your hands as you lengthen your legs, and then pull a little bit deeper away as the legs come right back up. Three more, however you choose to do it. You also have tabletop option for your legs. Two, I love this one. When you really do it right, you're going to get so much in your low abs. Exhale, lift the legs up, and then hug the knee, relax. Take the knees, stir them in the hip sockets. And reverse. And we're coming into crisscross, so bring those legs back up to table. Fingertip touch behind the ears. Float the head, neck, and shoulders up. Extend your left leg long as you twist up and over the left shoulder towards the right knee. And right back to center, come up and over, twist and center. Up and over, twist and center. So the bottom rib is moving up and over to the opposite hip. Keep the elbows wide. You can also keep the legs extended and then draw a knee in. Your choice, whatever variation you want. Let's do two more each way. Twist. Bring all the air up, twist. Last one each way. And bring everything back to center, hug it in and relax. Take a long stretch here. Lengthening your body. Let everything go for a minute. And we'll bring, bend the knees, bring the feet back in. We're gonna relax the arms for a second, bring the legs back up to tabletop. Reach the hands to the sky. Inhale, on your exhale, sweep the arms back behind you, around out to the sides, and roll up to catch your ankles. Extend the legs up to the sky in your small open leg rocker. So petite V, roll your shoulder back to your shoulder blades and come right back up. We've got four more like that. If this feels like it's not happening, you go back to rolling like a ball. Three. I feel like my legs are longer proportionally for my body, so it's hard to reach up to the ankles. One more. All the way up and hold, legs come together. Roll the shoulders down, get a little longer through your spine, and then come back onto your forearms. Legs stay extended, or you can keep a uh, uh, bent knee. Swivel the legs over to the right, draw your circle down around up, holding it at the top, wide collarbone. Other side, sweeping down around up, and holding it at the top. So you can have tabletop legs or straight legs your choice wherever you want to be. We're going to do one more each way. Keep lengthening your neck up out of your shoulders and back around. When you're even, come all the way up, bring the feet to the mat, draw the abs in, and roll yourself all the way up. And release. Let's grab your weights. And get into our fun little weight section. Roll the shoulders down, sit up super tall, elbows tuck into the sides. Palms face up to the sky. If you're holding your 
glass of wine in your palms that would be probably really necessary tonight. Sitting up a little bit taller and open the arms and bring it back in. Elbows tuck into the sides, open and close. So pushing your elbows into your body as the arms open. So moving in opposition and then draw the abs in a little bit deeper and lengthen up to the sky. Hold the arms open, sit up a little bit taller. The arms are about three quarters as you press the arms out to the sides and then drag them back in, lengthen and draw it back in. Extend and in. Three, three, two. Hold the arms out. There's a micro bend to the elbow. Tuck your pelvis, roll back halfway. And then tiny stir the out of the arms around. Tiny stir. Now draw the abs in a little bit deeper to help support. And reverse. Long neck, no tension in the neck or the jaw. And drag the arms all the way forward, bicep curls. Bend and extend. Pulling the abs in a little bit deeper. Maybe you take your body back a little bit further, tucking the tailbone even more underneath you. <clears throat> and both arms stay out, turn the palms towards each other, then the right elbow, and then the left elbow. Bend right. More like that, you try. We're going to bend both elbows in. Open the arms out to the sides and turn the palms down so the wrists are aligned with the elbows. Press the arms forward and pull them back, keeping the upper arm parallel to the floor. Press forward and back. Three. And last one, the arms out, pull all the way down to the mat. Inhale, exhale, roll up to your halfway point. Turn the palms towards each other, slide the shoulders away from the ears. And then open the arms and back around a big balloon. Inhale, exhale. So the shoulders, then the elbows, then the wrists in descending order. <clears throat> Three, two, and last one, bringing you back to center. Sit up tall, roll the shoulders down again, and then swing the arms open like wings. Swing open as so you're getting into the deltoid, keeping the wrist and elbow in line. Lift. For four. Two, get taller. Last one, the arms come down and then send them straight back behind you here. Sit up tall and then shift your weight forward, maybe with a bend of your knee to get the spine long. Lift, palms face each other, lift the arms a little higher and now tap them towards each other, tap in, in. And bring them in a little bit closer and then lift them up a little bit higher, flip the palms to the sky and press up. <clears throat> And hold them up and tap them in. In. For five. Lengthen your spine of your sits bones. And last one. And bring the arms all the way forward. Place your weights to the side. And come to your hands and knees. Take one weight with you. Let's start with the left hand in the weight. Knees underneath your pelvis. Right hand underneath your shoulder, left hand sweep it straight back and tap it down towards the mat, sweep it straight back. Depending on how the weight is of your, the amount of weight you have, you could maybe hold it with your thumb and release the fingertips of the back to just continue length out of your fingers. And then you maybe you extend your right leg out onto the mat to square the pelvis and then engage the glute to lift that leg up. So you're just squeezing the glute to help support the leg to stay long and extended. The arm stays up here and pulse the arm and leg together. They go closer to the body, they pulse in. The arm is coming up a touch over the hip. It's going over your booty. 
in towards the body for five. Last one, bend the knee, bend the elbow, send them both straight. Bend and extend. We're working on a lot of balance here. Coordination, making the brain work. Keep the thigh lifted. Even as you bend the string, try not to let your thigh drop. And last one, they send length and hold and bring the weight down, come onto your forearms. Leg stays extended as you tap over to the left edge of the mat and then up and over to the right. Drawing a circle up and around, a half circle up and around. Squeeze the glute. Up and around. Keep pulling your abs in, keep your pelvis still, reach your sits bones to the back. The leg comes all the way back to center, stay straight, relax your left foot, shift over into your right elbow attach, and then tiny little lift of the leg, tiny pulls up. Keep lengthening your neck, maybe giving the back of your skull a little press up to the sky so we're not collapsing in our back. And hold the leg there in tiny circles, tiny circles, stirring around and around. Pulling the abs up and in. And reverse it. Bend the knee, flex the foot, and kicks to the sky. Keep up. Time to squeeze up. Hug the thigh slightly in for five. Pull, open the knee to the side, and then small lift of the knee. Tiny lift up. Up. So the foot is angled back to the slight diagonal, hold it up, and then tiny kick back, small kick. Kick, firming right underneath the tush for five. Last one, extend that leg back out into the mat. Leg is straight, toes are on the mat. Extend the left leg out into the mat, and you're in your forearm plank, micro bend the right knee, micro bend the left knee. So tiny alternating bends, go bend and bend. In bed. Draw the abs in, slide the shoulders away from the ears for five, four, three, two, last one. Come up onto your left hand, onto your right hand, and then come back onto your knees, grabbing the weight with your right hand. Slide the shoulders away from the ears and sweep the arm back and straight down. It sweeps back and down. So the arm just does its own thing here. And then you extend the left leg long keeping the toes on the mat to start to square the hips, to draw the abs in, and then you lift that leg up, point the toes. So the arm is still the only thing moving at the moment. The leg is stabilizing. We hold the arm up, and the leg and the arm go towards the body. We hug in. in. Squeeze in. Five. Last one, we bend the knee, bend the elbow. Extend. They bend, they both straighten. Keep that elbow up alongside the body, like you're clutching your elbow in your body with your, your fullness in between. But you gotta hold it into the body. Hold the arm and leg long, and then bring the weight down. Did I skip something and come onto your forearms? I didn't skip anything, did I? Okay, I'm assuming since no one's saying anything, we're good. Uh, Tap the foot over to the right, and then circle up and over to the left. So the leg is drawing a rainbow up and over, while the pelvis is staying pretty still. The abs are drawing in. You're firming up the booty. One more each way. Bring it back to center, really firm the booty up, lengthen out of your toes, up, shoulders and ears, and tiny little lift of the leg. So the whole leg is, is firmed as it's extended. Can you shift a little weight into your left forearm to help keep you centered? And tiny circles. Your abs are drawing into your spine. Back of the skull is getting a little push up to the sky to keep an activation in your back. Reverse it. Bend the knee, flex the foot, and kicks to the sky. Kick up. Slide the shoulders away from the ears. Eight. 
and then open the knee out to the side and tiny lift. Lift, lift. We still have that flex foot. It gets a little deeper into the posterior, the posterior chain of the body when you have that flex foot. Hold it up and tiny kick back. Kick, kick. For five. And last one, we're gonna extend that leg back out onto the mat. And then extend the right leg back out onto the mat. You're back into that forearm plank. We're going to turn the right forearm in towards the left. Rotate into your side plank, taking your left arm up to the sky. Hold here. Lift up out of your uh, right waistline. Reach your hand to the sky. Three, two. Last one. Back to your front plank. Reset. And then take the left forearm over. Taking the right arm up to the sky. Square the hips. Step. Reach your hand right up over your shoulder. Push the hips up for five, four, three, two. Last one, come right back into your front forearm plank and then lower yourself to the mat. Fold your forearms together, gluing the forehead down to the forearms. And just take a moment there, shake your pelvis out, relax everything. And then notice that your pelvis is pressing down into the mat. Your hip bones are in line with your pubic bone. Maybe you push that pubic bone down a little more tonight. Feel how you get a little more length in your lumbar. Feel how you can magnetize your elbow up into your spine. Your ribs are still knitting together. Your shoulders are relaxed. Your neck is long. Keeping the feet to the mat, magnetize the abs up and in. Float the upper body just an inch up off the mat. So start very small and then lower it down. Engaging the abs, pressing the pelvis in, and float up again. And lower. We're going to take that three more times. And maybe you start to come up a little bit higher, but think more lengthened as opposed to height. We've got one more. Lift and hold. Get up a little bit higher a touch and a little longer forward. Lift the elbows and lower everything to the mat. Continue to keep your upper body melted into the mat as you now float both legs up. Float the legs and lower. Upper body is relaxed, so legs lift. The pelvis is pressing into the mat and lift the thighs and lower. We lift the thighs and hold. Lift them a tiny bit higher and hold. Abs tight and circle the legs. They stir around. Go up and around. Go up and around. Still knitting the ribs, still pulling the abs up and in, and then reverse it. Shoulders relax. And then let's bend the knees, flex the feet, and push the thighs to the sky. And um, the toes are slightly turned out, the heels are together, the feet are flexed, the thighs lift and lower, and lift and lower. Start by engaging your abs and then engage the glutes. So you don't want to lift so high that you're compressing in your lumbar spine. You want to keep that long. Your range of motion will increase over time. Lift. And lift. Lift and hold and tiny pulses to the sky. Press up. Drawing the abs up and in for five. Hold it up. Extend the legs long, rebend, lift the thighs. Lengthen the legs straight out, rebend, flex the feet, lift the thighs. Lengthen, in and lift. Lengthen, in and lift. One more, lengthen, bring it in, lift the thighs, and then lengthen the legs all the way out and let them relax, you can pull us out. And then lengthen the arms out, slide the shoulders away from the ears. Draw the abs up and in. Floating the right arm and the left leg an inch up off the mat. And lower. Left arm, right leg. Slide the shoulders down and lift. Do you guys hear the call to prayer? I don't know how loud it is for you guys. And then we're gonna float both arms and legs up off the mat. And then start to swim, little flutter kick. Long arms, long legs, magnetize your belly up for five, four, three, two, and last one, lower everything down gently. Press yourself to your child's pose. Knees are wide, 
and take a breath here. Reaching the arms long back to the front. Walking the hands over to the right, take a stretch to your left side. Keeping your left sits bone pressing onto your left heel, and then lengthen your left arm a little bit further forward and breathing into the space between your ribs, expanding the lung. And you'll walk your hands back to center and to the other side. Breathing into the space to increase the lung on the left, right side. Opening up the right side body. And walking it all the way back to center. And coming all the way up. Okay, we're gonna come into our plank now. So let's do it on hands, unless you're having wrist issues, we'll come all the way up onto the hands while Leo is going to tell us our story. Just really think about being supported through your abs and the whole body activated. So don't let it all sit into your shoulders. You wanna really press the ground away, drawing the abs in, lengthening through the head and through the heels. And let's come on up into our plank. And then Leo, you're on. I loved visiting Cambridge. It gave me influence on which Harvard students the firm chose to interview, and it gave me an excuse to see Barack. First time I visited, he picked me up in a banana yellow Datsun. When he turned on the engine, the car spasmed before settling into a sustained shaking. You drive this thing, I asked. Barack flashes me, oh, I got this covered grin. Just give it a minute or two, it goes away. Another few minutes were on the highway, and he added, oh, and don't look down. But I had already spotted the four-inch hole in the floor through which I can see the pavement rushing beneath us. Even then, I knew life with Barack would never be dull. It would be some version of banana yellow and occasionally hair-raising. It also occurred to me that quite possibly, the man would never make any money. Three, two, one. Not job. Huh. Pedal the knees up here. Lifting the sit bones a little bit higher, taking any movement that your body needs right now. And then micro bend the knees, press the floor away from you, and begin to walk your hands in the direction of your feet. Stay in your forward fold. Sit at the feet are hip width apart. Soften the knees and grab a hold of either elbow and gently sway side to side. You don't want the knees locked out where you can't get a release in your low back. Releasing the arms, toes facing forward, draw the abs in, head is heavy as you roll your spine up vertebra by vertebra. Head being the last thing that comes up. Rolling your shoulders away from your ears. Sitting up long, tall and strong, feeling grounded through those feet, take a nice big inhale up. Breathing it all in, exhale. Pilates, Hadis, merci beaucoup. So great to have you guys uh, stop recording.